Hey everybody, my name is Derek and I'm concerned about climate change. This week we have some alarming news out of the Arctic where we've seen the overall area of sea ice floating on the ocean decrease in mid-November for the first time. That leaves us with the lowest mid-November Arctic sea ice extent ever recorded, showing that thanks to warmer water and unseasonably hot temperatures to say the least, the ice is melting when it should be freezing. If you look to the south in Antarctica, we're also seeing record low sea ice extent as the southern sea ice is melting much faster than in previous years. When you combine these two phenomena, you see that global sea ice is much, much lower than normal. In fact, if you look at this last chart which shows the normalized sea ice anomaly, you can see just how much trouble we're in. The sea ice around the world is in collapse. Now. Why is this happening? Well, the short answer is, it's our fault. Carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere continue to grow year over year, and that carbon dioxide traps heat, which contributes to overall higher temperatures. More than 95% of climate scientists assert that humans and our fossil fuel use are driving this phenomenon. That means that it's in our power to help stop it, so here's what you can do. Contact your member of Congress at the phone number listed in the description of this video and let them know that you want them to support efforts to reduce fossil fuel consumption and to promote the use of truly green energy sources like solar and wind power. Tell them we're in an emergency as illustrated by the sea ice phenomenon. Also listed in the description is an article describing some simple tips you can take to reduce your own carbon emissions. All of us can do something right now to help solve this problem. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and stay updated on the latest climate change news and information. Thanks for watching and please share this video with your friends.